Hey noobs, today I'm gonna be exploring the evolution of my music taste. Thinking about the eras of the music that I've listened to and all the memories that come along with certain genres or bands or songs, I love it. So I'm going all the way back. I think the beginning of my life started when I was about five years old and I heard Britney Spears' album. I remember being in kindergarten, listening to Oops I Did It Again, jumping and dancing on my parents' bed and deciding that was what I was gonna do. I was gonna be a singer. Either that or a teacher, but probably a pop star. And that was so iconic. But by first grade, I had evolved. I was different, I was deeper, a little darker. Um, I was listening to Avril Lavigne. <laughs> oh my god, when that album came out, once again, life changing. You know, as a six year old, I could relate. I sang Complicated at a YMCA talent show. Just literally imagine a six year old on stage, I was singing it like with just like the CD playing, like her vocals were in it. And best part, I forgot an entire verse and I must have just kind of like wiggled around up there on stage. But yeah, Avril was one of my first loves. She was actually the first concert that I ever went to. And that kind of just brings me into like generally the music of my elementary school years, which is pretty much all dad tunes. Like everything that my parents listened to, whatever they played in the car was what I listened to. So I remember a lot of like, no doubt, a lot of Evanescence, The Eagles, you know, classic rock, stuff like that. Nelly Furtado, I'm like a bird, wow. And then my mom, she always listened to like a lot of Faith Hill and a lot of Carrie Underwood. And that actually brings me to an exciting point. This video is sponsored by Keep Urban. Okay, like maybe not directly by Keith Urban, but I am here to tell you guys about Keith Urban's new song, which is a collaboration featuring Carrie Underwood, and the song is called The Fighter. Here we go. Little time, but you don't see that I was born to love you. What if I and that's absolutely something that brings me back to the days of hanging out in mom's minivan just jamming so you guys should definitely check out the full song the link is in the description you can stream it you can download it and thank you so much Keith Urban that's so nice of you to reach out no oh, okay thank you thank you for letting me use your song thank you for sponsoring this video it's very kind my later years of elementary school give me a strong, strong memory of being in my bathroom with a CD player, listening to Lindsay Lohan, Destiny's Child, Panic at the Disco, oh my god, and Taylor Swift's first album. And then we get to middle school, which of course is always a fascinating era for music taste, among everything. You know, style, middle school, you're changing, your, your puberty is happening, who knows? Sixth grade, I bonded with my best friend McKenna way back in sixth grade, and one of the first things that we talked about was both being fans of a band called Jack's Mannequin, listening to a song called Dark Blue. You guys should look it up. Um, but basically, McKenna and I both had older sisters, and so of course we listened to our sister's music, and so we ended up having a lot of angsty teen music that we both enjoyed. <laughs> I have such a soft spot for middle school music. It makes me so happy, it reminds me of MySpace. I just can't. At some point, I was listening to a lot of Seosin. I started a series, if you're a Tiffany the Prez fan, and if you've been watching for this long, you remember a beautiful playlist. I made like eight of those. Basically, they were literally just playlists of my favorite songs and me lip syncing them and like changing outfits. It was very 2008. But if you go back and watch those, you will see the wide variety of music I was listening to. A lot of it was like very like emo, punk rock, um, oh my god, Metro Station. Shake It makes me so nostalgic. Oh my god. And my hair back then accidentally had like kind of seen hair because my sister cut it and like gave me really choppy layers. And yeah, so obviously those were my golden years and I peaked when I was 14. I was just as misunderstood as any other teen and it was a good time. And I distinctly remember in middle school, when I was getting ready for school, I would turn on the VH1 like countdown 
of top music videos and like I would watch and listen to those like as I got ready. So one of the songs that I remember was Adele chasing pavements and I remember being like, yeah, should I give up? And then Adele became Adele a couple years later, but that was like her first big hit. All I'm saying is I listened to Adele first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're around my age, maybe you remember downloading music via LimeWire, probably downloading a lot of viruses, and the songs were never exactly what you were trying to download, but <laughs> TBT. Then we get into high school. In ninth grade, my very first boyfriend that I dated for about a month introduced me to Modest Mouse. Ba -ba -ba. Modest Mouse. But uh, I just started listening to Modest Mouse like a week ago, thanks to my friend Brad. So, hey Brad. And Modest Mouse is still one of my favorite bands. Like, I love Modest Mouse. I also was listening to a lot of The Killers, The Kooks. What a good time. And then I got my first long-term boyfriend, TBT, and I was at the beach a lot. I was a beachy teen Cali gal, and I was listening to a lot of like reggae music, which is funny. Revolution, Iration, Two Door Cinema Club, Modest Mouse. Listen to so much Jack Johnson, just total beachy chill vibes. Sophomore year. All I remember is after my breakup, which was tragic, I was listening to a lot of Lana Del Rey, Born to Die album, which is still my favorite album of hers. Lana Del Rey is awesome, and I'm really into Beyonce at the moment. Oh, like that is the most like emo <laughs> album to listen to when you're heartbroken. Like literally listen to Born to Die. I probably cried in my car like listening to that song so many times. But yeah, that album always just reminds me of, yeah, breakups and and then road trips with my sister. We were both kind of going through breakups and we were heartbroken. So we would just like drive across the desert together, sad, wanting to hop on a Harley with Lana. Anyway, <laughs> I also was listening to One Direction, uh, their first album, because I went to a One Direction concert that year with McKenna. And we made the One Direction rap. Wow, link in description, you need to see that. That was a legendary piece of my YouTube history. Junior year, nothing specific comes to mind. I was probably just listening to a lot of like mixtapes in my sister's car. I can't remember anything. Senior year. So lately I've been listening to kind of classic rock, like 60s, 70s. I specifically remember listening to a lot of Elliot Smith and The Shins. Elliot Smith is so amazing and I discovered his music and then also found out that he died like 10 years ago, tragically. And his songs are so sad but so beautiful and I still love him, still listen to him all the time. But I remember I would drive to my silkscreen like t-shirt making class and I had this one CD that just had a ton of Elliot and a ton of the shins and I love the shins and whew, that just like throws me back to that exact point in time. Then finally, Spotify came into my life and really changed the game because I was never one to like buy music, like iTunes, what? Nobody gave me like iTunes gift cards. Songs are expensive, dude. So when Spotify came in, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna start paying for this. So I've, I've been paying for premium. <laughs> I don't know how you live with yourself, no offense, with Spotify and ads. Like how do you do it? Treat yourself. There's a student discount, like please. Anyway. When Spotify came in, I started to experiment with a lot of different music because they have so many great ways to like discover new music and they recommend great things. Shouts out Spotify. I also started a series called What's On My Spotify, which I only made a few videos for. I'm talking really fast because there's so much information. I took a gap year and during my gap year, I was driving a lot and then I was also a nanny after school for two adorable kids and I miss them so much. But every time I would go to pick them up, I was listening to kind of the same music. If you guys remember my old vlogs from then, Frozen was her nickname. When I picked up Frozen from preschool, every single day she would want to listen to one song first and that was Boom Clap. So we would listen to Boom Clap and then a couple hours later we would pick up her brother who gave a nickname but I don't remember, it never stuck. We'd pick him up from school and he wanted to listen to Party Rock Anthem. And I was like, please no. But also, at this point in my life, I was listening to a ton of dirty projectors. About to die is great. 
Desire to Love, Just from Chevron. One of my favorites is Still This Is The Move. When I discovered their music, I had to go and like find everything. They have new music that I'm currently listening to because they keep dropping new songs and I'm so excited every time. Uh, my freshman year of college, I was listening to a lot of Drake and we always refer to it as New Drake. My camera's dying. I found this artist named Young and Sick and I just love his music, so you'll find a lot of his stuff on there. Zella Day, she sounds a little bit like Lana Del Rey. Sometimes you're like, well, it sounds like Lana, but she sounds like a happier Lana, like it's not all Everything from Broods is great. My sophomore year, which is this year, I was listening to a lot of Toto, like unironically, Africa and Rosanna. Also, a lot of David Bowie, before he died, and then he died and I had to listen to more of David Bowie. Rest in peace. Neutral Milk Hotel, I cannot say enough good things. Amazing, 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 please check them out. And New Dirty Projectors, basically. I listen to a lot of like, <sighs> it's classified. Spotify told me it's classified as like, indie, folk, psychedelic something, I don't know. Basically, I'm pretentious and I don't listen to the radio. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing, please comment. I'm pretentious and I don't listen to the radio. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should click the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 72K. 73. Let's go. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Once again, thanks Keith Urban for sponsoring this video. Check out The Fighter. Link in the description. So many links. Link? <laughs> Is Zelda around here somewhere? I never played that game. Okay, thanks. Bye!